former officer attached an American flag to a car, then jumped into the Gulf of Mexico while in uniform to hang out with tourists. And that's not all. They say he took time off whenever he wanted and sped throughout Marco Island in his cruiser. Matthew Gallup is now unemployed. But as NBC2's Ryan Arbogast finds out, there are even more reasons why he got the boot. Pulling people over without cause, letting a DUI driver off, and detaining a minor without authorization. A high-ranking Marco Island police officer is out because the chief says he wasn't enforcing the law. A longtime law enforcement officer hired to serve the people of Marco Island in 2019 has turned in his badge. The police chief fired Lieutenant Matthew Gallup Friday after a nine-month-long investigation. Talk about being negligent. He was, he was very negligent in his duties. David Thomas is a retired police officer himself. He says the allegations in the report, which include examples of breaking the law, like parking illegally and speeding, alongside joyrides in company vehicles, made his termination cut and dry. I'm surprised they left him as a lieutenant as long as they did. You know, normally when things like that happen, um, they demote. Um, but he also didn't come through the ranks. You know, he was a person that was a 20 year veteran. And I have to believe that because he had 20 years of experience coming to the organization, that they looked at him as having the knowledge. The Marco Island police chief telling NBC2 News that this firing was a last resort. But Lieutenant Gallup's confrontational relationship with the department was the last straw. And so when you have a, a seasoned officer like that, a veteran officer who is crappy, um, it does nothing and sets very poor examples, then that does nothing but destroy the culture and it destroys morale. Lieutenant Gallup was reprimanded eight times since September of last year. He was fired with cause on May 10th. I'm reporting local today on Marco Island. Ryan Arbogast, NBC2.